Hey folks, Captain Mike here from Salty Cape. Just slipping out real quick before work. Doesn't look rough, but it's windy. We have strong spring tides. We're gonna see what fish we can find close to the harbor. This time of year is great. There's all the bait you can imagine here in Vineyard and Nantucket Sound, from squid to herring. Herring's still around and pogies. So we're gonna use big baits, big gear, see what we can find. Making just a series of short drifts, the wind and the tide are together, so the drifts are really fast. So the name of the game today is just tiptoe back up to not disrupt the ecosystem here and make a series of drifts. I'm going to cast in the smooth water, sort of a hybrid between a cast and a dead drift, get down deep to some of these bigger fish we're marking on the finder. Gonna cast it up and in the smooth water. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fish the swing. I don't know if you can hear me over this wind, but I'm gonna <clears throat> so I'm gonna cast up tide and fish the swing. I'm letting that thumper sink. The paddle is gonna be doing its work as it drops. Now as the, the lure becomes perpendicular to us, I'm just gonna do a slow roll and just have that bait. I'm gonna steady reel. I'm gonna pause. I'm gonna let that bait sink back down. Oop, just got a hit on the drop. There we go, got that guy. It's tough to tell how big these fish are when you're drifting back in the tide. A uh, little chunky schoolie here. This guy, you don't even need to take out of the water. There he goes. So that's our fourth or fifth fish this morning on the Pro Tail Thumper. Now one nice feature about this lure is the hook pocket on the backside. Usually you see hook pockets on the belly, but on this Hokey Pro Tail Thumper, the pockets on the back and what that does is it gets the bait out of the way when it's in the fish's mouth and so a lot of times the soft plastics will tear in the fish just from the friction and the abrasion but it just bends back and stays out of the equation and uh, you know this is certainly tough plastic but just removing that extra little bit of uh, plastic in that pocket um, will greatly extend the useful life of this bait this is a really nice feature There we go. There we go. Such a subtle pickup. These fish are getting harder and harder to target as the tide starts to dissipate. They're still here and they're still feeding, but they're scattering. And so you really got to pinpoint these fish on a good cast. It's a nice fish. A little chunker. A little slot. A low end. <laughs> Barely hooked. So here's the outfits we're using today. Now, it may not look rough behind me because we're in the lee, but it's a windy day and the tide's honking pretty good. 
and we're targeting stripers that are keyed in on a mix of herring, pogies, and fairly large squid. And today, uh, oftentimes it's a topwater feed, but today the fish are holding deep. So we opted for the jig head paddle tails to get down. Now these fish aren't huge, but we have strong currents and sort of the hardcore conditions. So I opted for you know a heavier outfit that I would normally use to target fish in this size class. And uh, so this is my uh, standard issue, you know, heavy duty inshore outfit. Uh, the Hoagie seven foot hybrid rod, hybrid meaning inshore and offshore, Van Stahl VS200. I like this reel, switch hits between inshore and uh, light to medium duty tuna action. And then the lures um, today are the Hoagie Pro Tail Thumpers. And you'll notice I have two colors. Uh, one is, uh, you know, white, which is just a great everyday. Uh, imitation of all things fishy, but uh, white's a good uh, squid imitation. Whites and pinks and ambers historically are your go-to colors for imitating squid. And then certainly this herring color, uh, the blue, the, technically this color is called the blue butter, but it has a translucent silver belly and just both very natural imitations. Just the right size profile for big herring or you know medium-sized squid. But these outfits are doing the job. I like the heavier outfit because I can land the fish quickly in the rip, get the fish released, and then back in the game. So you'll notice the different size heads I have on these thumpers. My rule of thumb is I go with the least amount of weight needed to get down. The lighter the jig head relative to the bait, the more subtle and more natural the jig's action is gonna have in the water. And so today we have the 7 8 ounce jig head on this sort of blue butter, the herring color pattern. And then this is a, a one ounce head on the uh, translucent white. And uh, you know, we're fishing between 15 and 25 feet of water, we're casting up tide, we're fishing the swing. This is just enough weight to get to the fish with maximal amount of action in the water. So here I have the Hoagie Pro Tail Thumper. You'll notice that this jig head sort of a funny uh, size and shape. All the jig heads in the Hoagie Thumper series have the same size back. So regardless of whether you're using a half ounce head all the way up to a three ounce head, they're all going to fit the nose of the bait, you know, with a perfect symmetrical fit. Yeah. So here's the pilot hole so you know exactly where to enter the bait. So when this hook is, when the jig's rigged, it's going to sit perfectly, symmetrically. So I'm going to go right into that pilot hole. Now again, this plastic's very tough, so it's going to require a fair amount of hand strength to push that hook through the plastic. And that, remember that rigging pouch in the back is going to make it very forgiving for where to exit the bait. Now the last strap, there's no need to spin the bait or anything, you just push this right onto the jig head. It goes right up over the keeper. Nice and snug. Let's see a perfect seamless fit. Well, the takeaway from today is you don't know until you go. If we listen to the forecast going to bed, we certainly could have easily justified canceling this trip, but there was a little break in the wind. It was breezy, but we made it work, and uh, I'll safely be at my desk by 9 a.m. this morning.